Hey y'all, this is the second episode of my series, The Fanboy Rants. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the most serious issues in game, And that would have to be the Legend of Zelda timeline. Now we all know it's pretty screwed up, but Nintendo recently released a book explaining the storyline. It's amazing, isn't it? You'd think so. Uh, it really does screw up the timeline even. Let me explain. I I have a copy of the page on on my browser right now, and I'll read it to you. Uh, it starts out with the era of the world's creation. You know, Earth created. Then we have the area of, era of the goddess Hylia and the Sky era, and that's Skyward Sword basically. Then we have the era of chaos where the sacred realm is sealed. Era of prosperity, Hyrule Kingdom is established. The Force era, which is the Minish Cap and Four Swords. Minish Cap actually takes place before Four Swords. Hmm. Uh, then we have the Unification War, followed by Ocarina of Time. Now here's where things get a little messed up. There are three different timelines past year. Three. Now each are based on a different ending of Ocarina of Time. One says if Link died in Ocarina of Time, if he was defeated by Ganondorf, in which case they'd have a huge war and called the Sealing War, in which they try to seal Ganondorf inside the Sacred Realm. Simple enough. Then we have the Link to the Past, where Ganon is revived. Oracle of Agents and Seasons, Ganon is revived again. Link's Awakening, uh, Link's brought peace to the world. He wants to live a life of quiet reflection alone. And then the Gold Era, which is the Triforce monarch Monarchy. Then we have the Tragedy of Zelda, and then the Legend of Zelda 1, where Ganon is revived yet again. Zelda 2, Ganon's revival is prevented in this case. Then we have the second timeline, known as the Child Era. Uh, basically, it says the hero is successful in his mission, but uh, he does not. He does not. Well, the sages don't seal Gandalf away. So if that happens, then we have Majora's Mask. With Prince of Thieves, Ganondorf is executed by the Hylians, followed by Twilight Princess, the Shadow Invasion. Hm. Yeah, Wind Waker doesn't actually take place after Majora's Mask. Surprising, isn't it? Huh. Then we have Four Swords Adventures. Uh, Ganondorf is reincarnated, followed by Vati's Resurrection. Then we have the Adult Era, which basically is the regular ending of Ocarina of Time. We know it, it's regular... whatever. So basically, it's where we have the Era without a hero. Uh, then it's followed by the Era of the Great Sea, the Wind Waker, the Era of the Great Voyage, Phantom Hourglass, and the Era of Hyrule's re Rebirth, where a new continent is discovered, and we have Spirit Tracks, in which the evil King Maladus is revived. Uh, honestly, just, what the fuck, Nintendo? I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Uh, really, this is really just surprising. I mean, how do they seal Ganondorf? Why is there a sealing war? And there were seven years without a hero, well, seven years where Link was sealed. Uh, couldn't you have had that war during that time to defeat Ganon? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Or maybe Nintendo's just lazy. I mean, let's be honest, ever since Majora's Ma no, 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 I'm not, not gonna lie. Ever since Wind Waker, Zelda hasn't really been that great. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, I, I like Skyward Sword and all, but Wind Waker is still a better game than Skyward Sword. I mean, Majora's Mask is my favorite Zelda. It's my number one favorite game of all time. Ocarina of Time, of course, being my second favorite. And that's my third favorite game of all time. Second favorite isn't even a Zelda game, but we'll get to that when I, talk, when I do my top ten series. Um, so, yeah, what did you think? What did you think of the Zelda timeline? Uh, just... Just seriously, what did you think of it? I I have no idea what to say. You know, whatever. Comment, rate, subscribe, you know the deal. See you next week,